Welcome back to UK Pro Reviewer, the channel where we provide unbiased reviews of the latest tech and gadgets. Today, we're taking a look at the Infinix Zero Ultra, a budget phone with impressive camera specs. Let's dive in and see if it's worth your consideration. I'm your host, and let's get started. The Infinix Zero Ultra may not have the same brand recognition as some top smartphone brands, but it offers camera specs that rival the best in the market, all at an affordable price. With a 200 megapixels main camera, a 32 megapixels selfie camera, a stylish design, and a sharp waterfall screen, the Zero Ultra is ready for Instagram. However, it does suffer from an underpowered processor, which can lead to temperamental responses and unstable performance at times. Unlike many budget phones, the Zero Ultra stands out with its design. It's available in two color options, Genesis Noir, featuring a mixture of matte black and striped black design, and Coslite Silver, with a white and silver back adorned with wavy patterns inspired by the boundary between Earth and space. It's a stylish phone that catches the eye. The standout feature of the Zero Ultra is its impressive camera specs. With a 200 megapixels main camera, 32 megapixels selfie camera, 13 megapixels ultrawide camera, and a macro lens, it matches or even exceeds the camera capabilities of market frontrunners like the Samsung S23 Ultra. The images captured with the main camera are sharp and crisp in all light conditions. The 6.8-inch AMOLED waterfall screen is large and bright and adds a premium feel to the phone. However, the waterfall design can lead to accidental touches and interactions with the screen. The phone's shiny surface is prone to smudging, but the patterned back helps to mask fingerprints. It's recommended to use a protective cover to prevent accidental touches and add extra style. Here's where the compromise comes in. The Infinix Zero Ultra is powered by a MediaTek Dimension T920 processor, which is less capable compared to the Snapdragon processors found in many leading phones. This leads to underwhelming performance, especially for demanding tasks. The phone comes preloaded with Infinix's own suite of apps, which can make the device feel bloated and contribute to stability issues. Despite the performance limitations, the Zero Ultra offers excellent value for its price. It's priced just over £400 in the UK, making it cheaper than the Google Pixel 7 and Apple iPhone 11, and comparable to the Samsung Galaxy A53. The compromise lies in the processor, but if you prioritize the camera capabilities and can work with the bundled native apps, it's a bargain worth considering. In conclusion, the Infinix Zero Ultra provides impressive camera specs at an affordable price. If you prioritize the camera and are willing to make some compromises, such as running light on apps or using the included native apps, it can be a real bargain. However, if you rely heavily on the full Google suite of apps and require flawless performance for all your daily tasks, you should be cautious as the underpowered processor may not meet your expectations. That wraps up our review of the Infinix Zero Ultra. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to UK Pro Reviewer for more honest tech reviews. I'm your host and thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.